that this should be the continent open for people to come from other parts of the world, being better to integrate them into our labor markets. That is actually the knowledge we already have. The ones that come to Sweden, comes to other countries, they work more than the people actually um, that are, uh, are very often in place in that country because they come in midlife. Um, we talk too little about this. We talk too much about uh, pushing away people, sheltering ourselves, that's not the way to, to, to meet the future for Europe. So here I, I think we have a, a lot more to do, especially yeah. now, as you said, when conditions are a little bit better yes. and there is a risk that we turn right. in another direction. Have you passed those um, constructive remarks on immigration uh, to your fellow Conservative Prime Minister in Britain, David Cameron? <laughs> I think... Um, we took the decision not to have these um, special regulations from citizens coming from Bulgaria and Romania. We have not seen any of these negative effects that are related to in the debate. Um, I think, again, uh, integration was one of your uh, points. Uh, you can do so much more with integration. Um, a problem for us is that we have a very small language. Not everyone in the world speaks Swedish, I know this. Uh, but we are trying to focus on learning people coming to Sweden to learn Swedish and also educating them as much as possible because then we'll get into the workforce. A lot of the increase in jobs we have seen in Sweden are actually uh, to people that are born outside of Sweden. And they are now uh, giving us the resources to uh, be able to, to uphold our welfare ambitions mm. because as everyone else, we have an aging population and we need more working hours to be able to uphold the quality of our welfare ambitions. Um, before I uh, 